Getting your home holiday ready in Florida usually means decorations around the pool and lights in the palm trees. But when it's your first Christmas in a new house with a new baby, you pull out all the stops. Today on Ready, Set, Renovate, we see a hockey superstar and his family get a home makeover just in time for the holidays. Florida Panther Vince Trocek is having a breakaway year. His coach calls him the engine of the team, both for his phenomenal skills on the ice and his natural leadership abilities. Vince has spent most of his life training to become one of the NHL's top players, but his proudest moment arrived just a few months ago when he and his fiancee Hillary welcomed baby Leo. He's been the most incredible baby in the world. Uh, very much a blessing and he's been sleeping through the night the last few nights which has been the most amazing. Life changing. <laughs> very appreciative of that. I bet, yeah, because yeah, you have a pretty busy schedule. Yeah, so it's, it's nice whenever I'm able to sleep a little bit better. She's been great with waking up in the middle of the night whenever he wakes up, but um, you still wake up whenever she wakes up and it's tough to get enough rest to go through the whole day whenever it's as much training as I have to go through. So him sleeping through the night definitely makes a big difference. Vince and Hillary have known each other since they were teenagers and will tie the knot in just a few months. When I was 16, I moved to Saginaw, Michigan, which is where she's from, to play hockey, to play junior hockey for a, a team called the Saginaw Spirit. And then uh, I went to high school there my junior, senior year, and, and we met at that high school. So you guys are high school sweethearts? I guess you could say that, yeah. <laughs> As if juggling Vince's schedule, a new baby, and a wedding wasn't enough, they've also been house shopping. First and foremost, we were looking for something on the water. One of the first houses we looked at was this one. We walked in and obviously we were blown away by how open it was and, and how much natural light came in. So the house itself was, was incredible. And then I think one of the biggest things for us was the backyard and we walked out back and it just seemed perfect. They moved into this 6,000 square foot canal front home a few weeks ago and are hoping to have it fully furnished in time to host their family for the holidays. But first, they're going to focus on the most important room in the house. So let's talk a little bit about the baby's room. What are you um, envisioning in that space? Right now it's a good size. What do you want to put in there? So right now we have the crib. Um, we have a white crib. So we're thinking just maybe a smaller dresser and a rocking chair. He's, his closet is very built out, so we don't need too big of a dresser for his clothing. Um, just to make it, that's, that's, about, that's about all we're really thinking for there. Just to make it a little bit easier for her whenever he wakes up in the middle of the night, having somewhere to kind of change him, sit down with him, rock him a little bit if, he, if she needs to. The house is pretty traditional, so we want to have something that obviously has the traditional look, but at the same time a little bit more modern. And um, we got a lot of empty rooms and a lot of things that kind of need to be set. Obviously we need Leo's room to be put up basically. We need to build the crib and all that and then uh, the guest bedrooms and, and the master bedroom. We just want everything to kind of look more homey. Right. I'm curious if there was any discussion because this is a nice slippery floor, wide open space. Just leave it like this and have a little hockey practice area. <laughs> Did anyone bring that up? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about putting like a basketball hoop up. <laughs> you put a basketball hoop up there. The dogs whenever they run and make it look like they're on ice. So. <laughs> While they've decided against any indoor sports, they will get a professional assist with the furnishings. We have designers coming in today to pick out, I'll show them around, um, to pick out some furniture, to do some measurements, and we'll go from there. Hillary gives interior designer Wendy Rossi a tour of the house, starting with the living room. Okay, is there anything else that we're gonna have in this room that um, I don't know like about? We'd like to have some type of seating area here, probably an area rug. And how do you feel about the lighting? We like the lighting as okay. it is. Yep. I like the we lighting. It's a comfortable seating area. How many people typically, when you're entertaining, would you like to see here? Mm, maybe like six or so. In the family room, they're thinking of replacing the leather couch they currently have with something that will stand up better to the dogs. They also need a creative solution for all the windows and doors. 
there's a glare on the TV, so we'd want to have a shade to cover that, and then also just to make it more private, so we can't. Everybody across from us can't look in and see all the time what we're doing. We don't want to be in yeah. the fishbowl. Yeah. So I think that that's about it for down here. Is the baby upstairs? Yes. Oh, yeah. so I'll get to meet the baby, maybe. <laughs> The only thing we really have in here right now is the crib. Um, mm -hmm. So we'd like to match this crib, um, but we're thinking maybe a dresser or whatever you really think. But definitely need like a changing station. Um, um, yeah, I see you have the beautiful shutters there. That's really pretty. Very nice with the arched windows too. We really like that our master bedroom is on the same floor as um, the baby's room, so we can easily get there if we need to. Sure. It's kind of like our retreat up here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll take you into the master, but first we'll stop into the bathroom. Okay. Oh, this yes. is our master Beautiful. Bedroom. I love the sunken tub. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so that's Leo. This is Leo. This is why we really need to get his room done, because he sleeps kind of wherever we have him right now. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Yeah. And he okay. sleeps very well through the madness, so. All right, well, we will get your bedroom done as soon as possible. Okay, so now we're actually in the bedroom portion of the master. Um, so we'll need, obviously, everything for the bed mm -hmm. um, frame or whatever you think, side tables, um, maybe a bench or something. We're not sure what to do with this area. It's very large. Okay, Hillary, so I think uh, we've got a pretty good idea of uh, you giving me some interesting ideas to work with, and it's certainly a beautiful home, so I'm very excited to get started, and I'll see you in a few days All at right. the store. And Thank we'll you so get to much. Work. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate, Vince unveils a <laughs> hidden talent. Vince, you can design. Yeah, I, know you, I know that's not your main In my next but, life. Uh, Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hart from Ready, Set, Renovate, here today with my good friend Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Tat, you're always bringing us great information, but today you have great deals. We do. We have a great deal today. Thanks to one of our manufacturers, they're giving us a tremendous upgrade opportunity for everyone who moves forward with a window project and moves forward with an energy efficient glass pack. They're going to upgrade it at no additional charge with a free sound and security glass pack. So it's a tremendous value. If we call now, we can still have time to get installed for this season. Everybody, we're here today with Tat Granada again from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Welcome back, Tat. Great to see you. Great seeing you again. So you guys are here on a window install today, and we're in town. So this homeowner isn't concerned about hurricane impact, but they are concerned about safety and energy efficiency. Yeah, those were the key points when we met with this family that they really wanted us to try to address. Um, because of the association, we had to meet the requirements to stick with a bronze color frame. So it limited our choices a little bit, and we ended up going with a great product from Custom Window Systems that's going to really help them achieve the energy efficiency they are looking for, as well as uh, the security they also wanted. We have a dedicated uh, department of our company so to handle all associations throughout Florida. So uh, when it comes to a bronze frame, we know exactly the type of products that we can uh, suggest to the homeowners to exactly fit what the requirements are going to be for the association. So we have the old window over here. Your crew has already removed it, and you can actually see some significant differences between this one and the new window that's going into place. This is an aluminum frame. Yeah, absolutely. This was the original uh, window that was put in the home when the home was built, and it's an aluminum frame, so it's not going to give you the energy efficiency that they wanted. Uh, it's going to conduct the heat throughout the frame. Also, it was just a single pane piece of glass, so there was no energy efficiency in the glass pack, and there's certainly no protection for security as well. Right. So over here we have the new window, and this is a vinyl frame, so yep. it's very long lasting and the beautiful part about this is because you want something sturdy you want something strong that's also safe but you want something that looks good and so you have the color requirement on the outside but then the homeowner gets their color of choice which is white for the trim on the inside yeah they wanted to go with a white on the interior just because it brightens up the room a little bit but we had to meet the requirement on the exterior also the great thing about this product is it comes with a lifetime warranty so they're never gonna have to replace it again uh, if anything it's guaranteed against fading or discoloring or anything well worth the money. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Registration is now open for the Wolfson Children's Challenge. Sign up today to support Wolfson Children's Hospital. Early bird rates end on December 31st. Visit WolfsonChildrensChallenge.com. Positively Jacks is brought to you by Land Rover Jacksonville. My mom hired Bath Fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took forever.
Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. We get out of here and we find a way to get everyone that we lost back. All life ends. My entire life prepared me for this fight. You ready? I stay ready. Let's do this. We're in the fight of our lives here. We will not fail this world. Not today. Not ever. Crisis on Infinite Earths, the CW's crossover event, concludes Tuesday, January 14th. Nominate a person or organization for our Positively Jax Award. Go to the Community tab on News4Jax.com and click on Positively Jax. We see the positive. Positively Jax is brought to you by Land Rover Jacksonville. When Florida Panthers hockey star Vince Trocek and his fiance Hillary bought this Mediterranean-style home, their goal was to get the house furnished in time to host their family for the holidays. Their first priority, though, is getting baby Leo's room up and running. Today, they're furniture shopping with designer Wendy Rossi. Yeah, it's comfortable. I like that. I don't think we could do all, like, I don't think, the crib's already white, the dresser's probably gonna be white. I think we need something other than white for the chair. We already have some of his bedding. We have navy, gray, and white. Um, so something like this, maybe in a navy. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Would, yeah. yeah. So this is what I was talking to you about as far as getting the piping in a different color so that it's, you know, gives it right. more interest. Right. Instead of just putting a blue chair in there. Right. When we do this piping, look how different it yeah. makes it look. Yeah, I like that. And then the child's room, you want it a little more right. you know, lively. So yeah. this would make a plain old club chair look, right. you know, very pretty. And we'll put a little table next to it so if you have to sit something down. And then... Which, yeah, that's critical. There's a lot of things always to set down. <laughs> so we would definitely want that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> With a game plan for Leo's room, they move on to the master suite. I like this one. It's just, I think it's a little bit too light, the wood, maybe a little bit too contemporary with the, yeah. Yeah. Kind of the silver doorknobs are a little bit. Not your style. Right, a little bit too contemporary. I love this one. Yeah, this is nice. This one's really nice. This, this could totally work in there. The color is great, wouldn't clash with your floors. Right. You've got the Brazilian cherry, so we can clash with And I like the fabric, it kind of mixes in. Mm -hmm. A little brighter color. Yeah, yeah. it lightens it up. Instead yeah. of yeah. being so dark, it kind of right. the, the, the uh, upholstered headboard right. lightens it up a little bit. It what breaks you, up all the wood. What would you think for under the TV? We could put that piece right there. I measured the height of the television so it would be perfect. That could go right under the television. Yeah and then do the bed with the smaller night table, that night table. This is a little too, too much. This is the, my favorite the sofa. Yeah, yeah, this, this is my favorite awesome. one we found so far. With the hmm. uh, crystal chandelier and yeah, that beautiful big fireplace. Yeah, kind of classy place. looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. Yeah, this I has like the more style stately look. You yeah. like the style? Yeah, yeah I like yeah. the style too. And the chair too. Yeah, that chair is I think awesome. two of those chairs kind of would bring the room together. Bring in the wood from the kitchen a little bit. And the fireplace that... being on this side, looking at the. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the fireplace. The fireplace. Okay. This is yeah. The... yeah. So we would be, it would be set up like this with another chair. With a chair and a chair oh. here. Yeah. Because everything's kind of bright in that room, and everything's darker in the other room. You kind of need some dark wood to. Right. Bring it together. Mm -hmm. Got some good taste. <laughs> <laughs> Vince, you could design. Yeah, I know you. I know that's not your main. In job, my next but, life. Uh... <laughs> What do you think? I think I'm pretty tired. What do you think? I think I'm pretty tired too and hungry. I think we found a lot of good stuff though. Yeah, I think we found just about everything actually. Yeah. With hockey season starting soon, Vince heads back to the ice den for practice. He'll be heading to Europe in a few days to play in the NHL's Global Series and will be out of town for the furniture delivery. Hillary is looking forward to getting everything in place and surprising Vince when he returns. I'm very excited. I'm excited to get the house ready for us to be comfortable and completely moved in.
So Hillary, it's been a few weeks since we've seen you and it looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we've done a really good job with all the rooms. I'm really happy with the way things have turned out so far and working with Wendy's been awesome. So where are you with your remodel? So we have our family room almost done. Um, our living room is done. Um, and our master bedroom is done in some of the guest rooms. We just have to do some finishing touches and um, some of the drapes and stuff we need to work on. You also have a little bit of patio furniture outside, yep, I noticed. we have a table out there and some chaise chairs, so now we can, it's functional out there, so we can be out yeah. there now. So you and Vince are getting new furniture, and it looks like Leo might be getting a tooth. Yeah, he's <laughs> definitely getting something. He's been chewing on his hands like crazy. <laughs> How about Leo's room? Last time we were here, he was sleeping in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> His room is functional now. Um, it's almost done. We still need to put some th stuff on the walls and more decorations in there too. But his crib's ready, his um, changing table and dresser, all of that's in and ready to go. Okay, so Vince has been gone for a while and he hasn't seen right. most of the new furniture right. that's come in, yep. right? He's been on a very long road trip. So it's been Leo and I and Wendy fixing up this whole house and um, he's gonna be really surprised when he sees all of it. Does he know that he's gonna see most of it today? He, I think so. I think he doesn't know exactly what all is done, but yeah. I think he, he's got some of an idea, but it's a lot different when you actually see it in person. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. How's it going? Good. Glad you're back. Glad to be back. Wow, furniture looks awesome. Yeah, we got a lot in while you were gone. When faced with Hurricane Michael, one product stood strong. Our windows helped that house survive by withstanding an impact. The testing protocol calls for the product to be impacted by some form of windborne debris, flying debris. Then it has to get cycled with negative and positive pressure 4,500 times one way, 4,500 times the other way. And then the window still has to operate after that. Our windows were hit by windborne debris. The glass cracked, but the windows still operated. They did what they were supposed to do and protected the home. To learn more about custom window systems, visit cws.cc. At Fair and Farrah, it's all about listening. They took time to listen. I was able to call them at any time. They definitely listened to what I wanted. It's never their choice, it was always mine. The more we know, the more we can help. Farrah and Farrah, here for you, here for good. Jacksonville, you voted. Now it's time to check out all the winners of Jack's Best. Head to newsforjacks.com slash Jack's Best to see who you picked as the best in every category. Presented by Visit Jacksonville. When the I-Team investigates, results happen. Do you feel bad taking money from people? I don't know how much money you saved me, but at least $400. Very, very, very happy. Thanks to you guys, but you started it. Fighting for what's right, standing up for local families. The governor signing into a law, something that came out of an I-Team investigation. You guys did a great job. Hey, y'all, you know, jump right on it. I-Team, get results. The News 4 Jacks I-Team, uncovering, exposing, getting results. Thank you for once again making News 4 Jacks your number one local station. The I-Team warned parents about a popular over-the-counter herb with lethal consequences. We showed you the local stores selling the most winning lottery tickets. And got results for families fighting for renters' rights. News for Jacks number one all morning long. And number one at 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock and your number one choice at night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With only a few weeks left before the holidays, Florida Panther star Vince Trocek and his fiance Hillary moved into a beautiful new house. All they needed was some furniture to make their first Christmas with baby Leo perfect. <laughs> yeah, we can make my parents sleep there if we don't have it done, but we need to get the guest rooms done for sure. We got a lot of empty rooms and a lot of things that kind of need to be set. After a tough two weeks on the road, Vince comes home to a nice surprise. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. How's it going? Good. Glad you're back. Glad to be back. Wow, furniture looks awesome. Yeah, we got a lot in while you were gone. Yeah, it looks really good. Dining room chairs look good. Yeah, they just came in. Walls look good. Yeah, we got, got that painted. Looks like a whole new place. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. Hillary, can you scooch just an inch closer to Vince? Mm -hmm. That was one inch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it looks great. You did an awesome job. Thank you, thank you. So you guys were kind of on the fence about the couch. You wanted to get something new, but you weren't sure if you were going to do it. 
but you did, and this looks great. Yeah, one, I think once we started seeing everything else changing, we decided to change this room also. Yeah, and I felt like it kind of needed a lighter color to kind of brighten up the room right. instead of staying with that dark wood color. So yeah, we got a new couch and a couple new uh, accent chairs in the uh, great room. We put, actually we had a, a table from our old house that it just so happened to work pretty well in there. And then um, aside from that, we got some new chairs for the table in the dining room. Um, we got all new furniture in the guest bedrooms. And then we had to decorate and put furniture in, in the master. And Hillary, you said you really love the furniture in the master. Yeah, I love it. It's really come together really nicely. It, I love it. It looks great in there. Yeah. Um, we haven't had it. We didn't have any outside furniture when our families were here last. So we were just kind of sitting around the pool. But it'll be nice that we have like kind of an oasis for everybody to hang out outside this time when, it, when they come. So is Leo's room all done? Last time we were here, he was sleeping in the bathroom, and I know you were excited to get him in his room. Um, so his room is pretty much done. I need to get a few more decorations, but we went with this uh, color scheme, white, gray, and navy blue, and we've pretty much stuck to that. Um, we got the rocking chair in, which we got that pretty much right away because I have to rock him to sleep almost every night right now. So got that in there, and, that, and once we got the rug put down and um, the crib built, it put the room together so we had to he's he's I think he likes his room it seems he seems to like it he you know I think in, when he's in there he knows that it's like bedtime and it's like it's adorable and um, I think it's gonna be awesome once he starts realizing it's his room and like gets excited when he goes in there but he's got some toys and some stuff in there that I, I like I'm very proud of this house and uh, I think it's looked we put our own little touch onto it since we got here and it looks looks great I love it so uh, excited for the family to come down and be able to enjoy it with us we're building our family here, and this is our home now. It's kind of the start of this family, so uh, we love it here. Yeah, really excited. <laughs> Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. The holidays are upon us again, and if you're looking for a way to really get into the spirit, we have some ideas for you. Park is saying hello 2020 with a good buy. All select 2019 are all clearance price to move. Up to $2,020 dealer cash back on everything. Or drive for just $20 down. Plus, we'll buy your car no matter what you owe. Hurry, saying goodbye has never been so easy. Get to Nissan of Orange Park today. Online at NissanofOrangePark.com. The Baxter Family Survival Guide. Dad, you taught us to be self-sufficient. And yet, you're all still here. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. You want money. Maybe you should do what other people do. Get my own reality show. Dad, I'm trying. Learn to adapt. You're going to use a glass, right? Fine. Hand me the big one. Last Man Standing. Weeknights at 8 and 8.30 on Channel 4. The holidays are upon us, and if you're looking for some inspiration to get into the mood, we have some great ideas for you here today. Joining us is Carol Zanellini from Floral Productions. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much for coming. All right, so we're going to decorate these little sleighs. You and I are each going to do our own. So we're going to start with these little plastic. A plastic container, because this is a, a container that, of course, wouldn't hold any water, you have to have some kind of a vessel to hold the water. So you can, um, you can probably can fill this with uh, pine cones, whatever you want to decorate with. Um, I have used just a piece of our uh, ribbon that looks like a leaf. You would take your oasis, um, soak it in, a, in a, a vat of water, put it in your little container, and then of course add water to it. And you can purchase these uh, at any type of a discount store or a, a, a local floral supply. Okay, um, so what are we going to put in here now? Well, I like it so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I have picked is, is probably just anything that you can grow even. You can either purchase your greens and your flowers from your local florist. This looks like a hedge I have in my yard. It is probably a hedge. This is Pittosporum. This is variegated Pittosporum. Okay. And Pittosporum is... it smells is, good. It does. It's grown locally here. Okay. Um, so what you, I think I gave you a piece of uh, okay. yes, your little I have clippers, my clippers here. here. And what you want to do is maybe f uh, just fill in a little bit so you won't need to use as many flowers. Okay. And also it'll give um, a, a nice look to 
the right. container. The, this is free if it comes from your yard it and is. flowers are expensive. I purchased <laughs> it because I don't have a friend growing it right now, okay. but I would. Um, you just go ahead and, and clip a few pieces off. Okay. Is there any special technique? I, I've always heard you're supposed to cut it on the diagonal. You, you cut it on a diagonal only because you don't want it to be totally flat on the bottom of your container. You okay. want a little bit of um, water to be able to get up through that stem. Okay. <gasps> These are beautiful. What this, is this? This is called hanging amaranthus. Oh my goodness, that's Isn't gorgeous. Really yes. Since you're doing a smaller smaller piece, I'm going to give you the smaller one. Okay, if I may. perfect. And because a lot of your, um, I take the foliage off of all my okay. flowers only because it draws more of your water and you want the oh, actual bloom. Good to know. I've always wondered about yeah, that. I always take, even the roses, I always take all my greens off of. So you cut, this is a beautiful hanging, so you kind of want it to hang a little bit. You wouldn't want to lay it straight down because it would lose a lot of effect. So maybe just put a little bit hanging up. You can probably do the same. And don't worry about the heights because you can, here you go. Okay. If this is Alstroemeria, okay. These are pretty long lasting, aren't they? They're I've, very long yes, lasting I've and very inexpensive. These. You so, can usually find it at your local grocery store also. Once you, again? You can, now you can, these are so tiny, you can probably pull those off. Okay. Just, I like the way this is coming together. Oh, you'll make a masterpiece, I know you will. <laughs> Well, Carol, this is absolutely gorgeous. I am all set now with my holiday floral arrangement, so I'm just going to load these up in my car and fine. We'll Thank add you. A few more. <laughs> we appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. If you would like more information about Ready Set Renovate, please visit us at ReadySetRenovate.net. Hey everybody, we're here again today with Tag Renata from Florida Home Improvement Associates and this is what you call an active job site. Your guys got the ladder set up and this is the window that's coming out. Yeah, absolutely. We're getting ready to take this window out. It's an aluminum window that the family wanted to change out and we're going to make a great uh, transition here in the home today. This is an aluminum window and it's original to this townhouse community, so probably a good 30 years old at this point and you can actually just feel how flimsy the single pane glass is and the aluminum that surrounds it. Yeah, there were a couple different reasons why this family wanted to change out the window. One is security. It doesn't provide any security with this single right. pane glass. Also, with the western exposure, they get the direct heat. So in the summertime, it gets really uncomfortable in this space, so they wanted to provide more energy efficiency for the room. Right, and as is oftentimes the case in communities like this, there are some stipulations as to what they can actually put in here as a replacement window. It has to match the rest of the community. Right, exactly. We have a dedicated uh, department of our company so to handle all associations throughout Florida, so we know exactly the type of products that we can uh, suggest to the homeowners to exactly fit what the requirements are going to be for the associates. So we went with the uh, bronze vinyl window, which is going to give them the energy efficiency as opposed to the aluminum frame. It's bronze to the exterior to meet the association requirements, but it also has a white interior so it brightens up the space for the room. Yeah, so you guys were here with the sun up basically this morning. How long will it take them to get this window out and the new one in? It won't take much time at all. We should have this removed and uh, the new one in place within the, within the hour. And then the homeowner will have the security of knowing they probably never have to mess with this window again. Well, they'll never have to mess with this window. It's fully guaranteed lifetime, so if there is ever a problem, the manufacturer sends us out a brand new one and we replace it at no charge. All right. Thanks so much. Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Yeah. <laughs>